Hi and welcome back to my channel about philosophy. Today we're going to cover the three laws of logic which are fundamental to philosophy and understanding the world. So the three laws of logic were first written about by Aristotle I believe and they are number one the law of identity, number two the law of non-contradiction and number three the law of excluded middle. So let's look at them. First the law of identity. This simply states each thing is identical to itself. A thing is a thing and nothing else. This is simplified to A is A, B is B. In other words, a dog is a dog, a cat is a cat. This sounds very simple, but you'd be surprised how often this is done wrong. For example, there's a thing called an equivocation fallacy, which I'll explain now. So words have meanings and interpretations. Take for example this word, moving. Here are just two definitions. So A would be to change locations physically and B would be to affect someone emotionally. And then we have this argument. When I walk, I am moving. The Mona Lisa is also moving. Therefore, we are both moving. This commits what's called an equivocation fallacy, which is simply where you mix definitions of one word in, in the middle of an argument. You have to keep the definition the same or you have to specify when you change it. If you don't specify, it's an error and you're just manipulative. So in this argument, in the first sentence, you're using the A definition, so moving equals A. In the second one, you're using uh, B, so moving equals B. And in the third one, you're doing both, or I don't, you know, I, we don't know, it's not clear. This is why we should always define the key words that we use and always tell the other person when we are using a different meaning. For example, Voltaire is quoted as saying, if you wish to converse with me, define your terms. This is how fundamental the law of identity is. Next we have the law of non-contradiction, which is actually very simple. Something cannot be one thing and the exact opposite at the same time. A dog cannot be a cat and a dog at the same time. I can't exist and not exist at the same time. And lastly we have the law of excluded middle, which simply states that any objective claim is either true or false. There's no in-between. For example, the man is five meters tall. Humans are mortal. The earth goes around the sun. These can all be tested and verified in reality. However, this is only the case for objective claims. Subjective claims aren't so clear. If someone says England is both a good and a bad country, you can't prove this without linking to objective facts. A claim itself cannot be directly proven true or false. So these are the three laws of logic and they're foundational to philosophy. So to prove how universal they are, I'm now going to make the argument that all animals that can see and hear use the three laws of logic, not just humans. That's simply because it's necessary for survival. So imagine a bear is in the woods looking for food. What is he looking for? Well, he's looking for the specific food that bears eat, which in this situation I'm just going to simplify because they eat lots of things, but let's say bears eat fish. So he's looking for a fish. He's not looking for a fox. He's not looking for a tree. He's not looking for a bird. So his brain can understand the difference between a fish a fox, a tree, and is categorizing them as fish is food, fox is another animal that's neutral, a tree is nothing, not, maybe he could scratch his back against the tree, that's another concept, but it's not food. So bears understand the law of identity. They need to, because they need to know what food is. What is their food? They need to know what that is. So for example, the bear comes to a river and there's no fish in the river at all. Can it believe that there are fish and not fish in the river? I would say no, because it has to eat. If it doesn't find fish, it can't believe that it's eaten. If it does, it's not going to live very long. So it can't believe these things. It has to find the fish, eat the fish, and then realize, oh yes, I've eaten the fish and that river had fish. It can't believe both and survive. So it finds a river without fish, then it goes to another river and finds fish. And then you can remember, ah, this, this river has fish. It can't believe both at the same time that 
this river has fish and doesn't have fish and this river has fish and doesn't have fish at the same time. It can't believe both. It doesn't make sense to believe both. And also that also ties in with the third rule, which is the claim that the river has or hasn't doesn't have fish is either true or false. It can't believe both at the same time. So all animals do this. All animals can identify predator prey, food or not food, and they all do this ones that can see and react to reality. Humans can do this as well, naturally. We simply identified it and gave it a name. Of course, humans have more advanced uh, logical capabilities than animals, but the basic form of being able to interpret reality, what is food, what isn't, believing that two contradictory things at once doesn't lead to survival. Uh, this proves how, just how universal the laws of logic are. Anyway, that's all for this video. See you guys next time.